Jonathan Davis is an economist and wealth advisor. When he says pay the tax, you'll live in a nicer country, Mr Davis. Is he right? Good morning. Uh, good morning. I, I suspect um, the likes of uh, Shirley Bassey and the all the Formula One racing drivers who live in Monaco would disagree. So <laughs> I, I also disagree. Tell me why you disagree. And, and as an economist, I would say, well, well, I understand where he's coming from, and I say again, he is a good bloke, but I think this is probably fundamentally flawed, isn't it? It's entirely fundamentally flawed. The the idea, as, as you suggest, that uh, if individuals pay more tax, then we live in a better society. Well, Singapore is a fantastic society. They've got just about the lowest taxes in the world. And I can give you other examples. Um, it, it, the, the problem is not about individuals paying more or less tax. The problem is the government is spending too much. If the government reduced spending then taxation would not be even in question. And he is two-faced to be raising this issue because where does he get his money from? The taxpayer-funded BBC. And other areas. One has to say, of course, Mr Norton will enjoy other commercial endorsements. No doubt. Hmm. OK. Uh, if you are avoiding paying tax, are you in some way contributing to the downfall of society? Well, um, I like to listen and read wise people and uh, I'm going to quote you from 1934 Judge Learned Hand quote anyone may so arrange his affairs that his taxes shall be as low as possible there is not even a patriotic duty to increase one's taxes unquote the idea that um, people should deliberately go out their way to pay more taxes is absolutely nonsensical. Why do we work? Why do we want strive to become successful? Because he's focusing on successful entertainers who, who go abroad. I mentioned Monaco. Mm. Um, because we want a better standard of living for ourselves. And um, we should always focus on our needs, on our personal needs, on our family needs, because that's the way ultimately we then help society. Because if we strive to improve our financial position, then that will improve the financial position of society. Uh, 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 when you've got governments who spend vast amounts of money on, um, uh, I don't know, uh, defence systems, NHS computer systems, you name it, that go awry or are total waste of money, and we've seen these from decade after decade, as I say, it's the government spending's the problem, not the individual's taxation. I hear you. But lastly, that gov same government is spending money on hospitals that are saving lives and helping keep people and make people better. It's spending on schools that are educating our children. It's the same government spending the same money. Indeed. And uh, two points. Um, the, the idea that we didn't look after ourselves um, over the last hundred years when we paid less tax is, of course, arrant nonsense. And by the way, we also won two world wars um, uh, with lower taxes. And then, uh, econom and finally, economists have proven time and time again, when you reduce the tax rate, you actually increase the tax revenue. Good speaking with your strong views from Jonathan Davis, who's economist and wealth advisor.